How's it going guys? Taylor from Track Card Gaming here, bringing you a replay from the recent Curse of Tournament and this is from round two I believe and I had the most filthiest, filthiest win in this and I had to showcase it on the channel. So let's get in. So we go scissors. Ooh. And I believe I go second on this. Okay, so for people who don't know, I am running the Gravekeeper Moth deck. Um, it's a wee bit dirty, it does its job, it's pretty fun to play. So, our opponent sets two and passes. We now go into uh, Danger Zone mode. So we set our Rotor Spirit ready to play, we activate a Gravekeeper's Curse to burn for 500 instantly. I Paranoid Parasite straight into my Gravekeeper's Curse. He responds with a Twister, what burns out my Parasite. But that's okay because I have a perfectly ultimate Great Moth in hand. So we summon a perfectly ultimate Great Moth. He activates his own Spirit. I say K, okay. I attack over with my Gravekeeper's Curse. I lose the 800 and then swing in for 35 and game. That is the power of this deck. It is awesome. So, we do our siding. I don't actually think I sided out anything on this stool. I just sort of went in and fought Bug Rip. So he goes first again, he sets one and passes. Oh, sets his whole hand and goes. So from here, I set, I set, I activate Grave. Gravekeeper's Recruiter, a Dust Tornado, Rotor right Spirit. I use the Lord Darkness to draw into these two. Leaves me in a very, very nice position. He Dust Tornadoes, my Dust Tornado. But I think it's fine, I accept it. He flips summons his Takuchi. He then gets a draw from his deck. And he swings into my Gravekeeper's Recruiter and loses 100 life points. Well, me being feeling a little bit cocky, I attach my um, Parasite to his Takuchi. He goes to Grave. I special summon the Moth from the deck and the one from the hand. I allure darkness, banish the curse. Since I had normal summoned yet, I normal summon Gravekeeper's Chief. Uh, when this guy should be summoned, you can target one Gravekeeper monster and special summon it. But since I didn't have no room, I didn't worry about that side of it. And since I got rid of my Gravekeeper's Recruiter, I can add a card to hand. So I swing in for 19. I swing in for 35. He nightmare wheels, and I swing in again for another, and he zomers. Now this is where this could get interesting because as long as he, he powers it's my moth, I'm thinking, okay, you go for that dude. He special summons a moth from deck. As the powers like back to his hand. The sets two and then starts swinging. So he swings in there. I, I lose instantly, so it's a very good GG. Now this is the next game. This is where the filthiness really kicks in. So we've got two moths going against each other, slightly different builds, and it's very interesting. I've sided in my Waking the Dragon, just in case. So I noticed he started popping back row for no reason. So main phase one, he sets and passes. Now it's down to me. I set. We awaken the dragon and set my right spirit and set my gravekeeper's curse. I didn't decide to summon him because I didn't want to lose it instantly. But now looking back off, it wouldn't really affect him. But if he got his moths out, it would have really bugged me. So from there, I set my Zoma. A tribute. Even though I should have flipped summon to get the 500, then done it. But there you go. From there, I activate 
Grave Keeper's Chief's effect. A special summon him back. Burn 500. I swing in. He Nightmare Wheels my Grave Keeper's Chief. I think, okay, so I lose 500. He flips on his to Kuchi, swings in. And turn there. I draw into my perfectly ultimate Great Moth. I was a bit of a dead draw, so I just literally skipped turn. I was thinking about using Rotten Spirit, but I thought I'd hang on until I have something worthwhile using it for. I draw into the Dust Tornado. Activate Rotten Spirit now. So you burn 500. And then just close up that spot. So I can set my Dust Tornado. So now I'm sitting here feeling a little bit more, a little bit more confident. I lose 500 again. He swings in and destroys my Gravekeepers. On his end turn, I summon my Zomin Spirit. And then Dust Tornado his uh, Nightmare Will in response. So main phase one, I set my other Zoom of Spirit, change him to attack, battle phase, he starts swinging. He Nightmare wheels me again. So I'm like, cool, whatevs. So I swing in with my Zoma and hit the 400 damage. Still sitting with another Zoma and waking the dragon. Really hoping that he decides to pop my back row. He paranoids into my Gravekeeper's Chief. Then he twisters his own zone, um, parasite. I think, fair enough dude, if that's what you want to do. I'm like, good, yeah, that's cool. And he summons out his moth. And summons a lot more cards. So from here, swings into his uh, Zoma. He loses 1500 life points, but then gets to destroy a card. So I destroy my Zoma. He swings in, leaves me on 400 from the 1600 deficit. And when he goes to swing in with his uh, Nidoria, I trigger my Zoma. Yet he still swings over with Nidoria to lose 1200. So he's thinking, I have nothing on the board. It's going to be game. And I summon Gravekeeper's Curse to inflict. 500 damage and burn it for GG. Now that is just making me feel filthy and when we see that he has a zone of spirit, the perfectly ultimate great moth in hand, yeah I, I feel absolutely filthy playing that game. <laughs> so that is how that game ended up. It ended up with a Gravekeeper's Curse victory. That is pure filth. There's no question about it, I feel like such a dick for doing it. But my god, it was a close game when it comes down to 400 and 300 life points. Curse, he comes in with a clutch. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. By the way, I do also stream on Twitch every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Um, speed duels, so if you feel like you want to come join in with a speed duel, please do. I'd much appreciate it. But for now, guys, I'll catch all you fine, beautiful people later. Bye!